Okay, welcome to PIFT. We are going to discuss the introduction phase of what the paramedic interfacility transfer protocol and policy is for New Hampshire. So PIFT came from a protocol committee in 2008 and they decided in New Hampshire that they required oversight of interfacility transfer and critical care. And they developed standards for critical care and PIFT the committee reviewed the CAM requirements and ultimately they copied a program in Maine where paramedics routinely don't take and don't aren't trained on medications and therapies involved in the interfacility realm. So they added blood products in 2019 and they also defined what was PIP applicable and what should go by critical care. They also defined what stability is, and based on medication and treatment modalities, they defined who could take what level of patient. Ultimately, the stability is defined by protocols and discretion of the paramedic responsible for care. Every paramedic in a PIFT agency must have the state PIFT program or an accepted uh, critical care program as a training requirement. The paramedic must have skill competency sheets on file, and there's also a piece of quality management and medical direction oversight. As far as the agency requirements, we have to submit a packet every two years, and we also have to have 24-7 medical control available or have a clinical supervisor available for consult. Uh, this person should be an administrator in the agency and have expertise in PIFT uh, for the sake of our agency. Uh, Mark is going to be the designated clinical supervisor, but any of our paramedics, any of our critical care paramedics um, can go to them initially. Um, recommended would be the initial supervisor or myself or Mark. Um, and after that, they can facilitate a call to uh, Dr. Swosey um, for anything that changes on the way and anything you need. Uh, this is the PIPT course. Um, we're gonna go over skill competencies we're going to discuss the PIF scope of practice and also uh, sound critical and forward thinking in the PIF environment. Um, we've also maintained clinical education. For our agency, the PIF policy is that the current Vermont state protocols will be used in New Hampshire. Anything that is not listed on the Vermont state protocols will be considered a critical care level transport as it currently is in Vermont. The agency and individual responsibilities um, will know from the onset of IFT activation that they're getting a provider who has met an educational component that is standard across the state is what the goal of this is. As far as furthermore introduction pieces, um, we are going to be covering ventilators, pumps, other IFT devices, um, as well as a large pharmacology portion as well. That is it for the intro section of PIFT.